winter weather has most of the state under a code blue alert as last night's storm brought frigid temperatures impacting those without shelter. News specialist Brianna Chavez joins us now live. And Brianna, how busy were the shelters there last night? Yeah, well, Dan, Debbie, as you can imagine, many of these shelters were very busy, especially after last night's storm brought in a good amount of snow, especially here in Salt Lake County. But one group that I spoke to says that they've been working tirelessly to help those that are living off the streets get out of the bitter cold. Snow falling across the valley begins to wind down. Freezing temperatures settle in, too. I mean, we were ready for it. Saturday night's storm forced 18 counties across the state into a code blue alert and helped those most vulnerable find a warm place to spend the night. The code blue standard right now is 15 degrees. We like to stick to 25 degrees. Carl Moore is with the Second and Second Coalition, a group focused on helping people get out of the cold. We can accommodate 85 people. People come in at 8 o'clock. Um, and then they stay overnight. They can come in and out however they, they choose. The group, which relies solely on volunteers, operates out of the First United Methodist Church in downtown Salt Lake on nights when the temperatures drop. Last night, I think there was like 20 to 30 people that couldn't get in. Moore says finding transportation to send those people to other shelters was a bit of a challenge. This is going to happen again tonight, tomorrow night, and we'll do it as much as we can. So I anticipate, you know, we'll do it 20 plus, 30 plus times this year all in an effort to help those without shelter to stay warm and feel loved the struggle is so very very real for people that are living on the streets and they're struggling to survive and more is encouraging others to volunteer with the coalition especially during these busy uh, and cold winter months now again they're going to be opening the church tonight and tomorrow night as well you can learn more about the group over on our website ksltv.com Back to you. All right, Brianna, great information.